when the police uniform loses respect. It was like a scene out of an action-packed movie recently in the federal capital territory, Abuja, Nigeria, when a police officer jumped on the bonnet of a moving Range Rover SUV in a bid to arrest its driver. The ex-police commissioner for FCT, Compo Lawrence Alobi, retired, arrived at the scene, but the subject, Adria, refused to speak to him. She demands for the IG according to the eyewitness. The commissioner came here to say he's not only commissioner, the IG should come. IG should come, the man said IG should come. She couldn't even beg the man that was standing there to talk beg. to her. Oh my what is all that? Very wrong. Yeah, you all the one you have to do, all the one you have to do, 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 as if this was not enough, a policewoman was chasing the supposed offender while yet another one in civilian dress ran after a reporter with a live bullet pistol and threatened to shoot if the reporter failed to surrender the recorder with which the ugly scene was recorded. President Mohamedou Buhari has indicated an intention to restore sanity and decorum to the Nigerian society that has been debased due to the years of ineptitude by previous administrations. Every Nigerian has a role to play in this regard. It is time for a reorientation of the masses that as with international best practice, uniformed personnel should be respected no matter what. The uniformed personnel also needs to reorient to know that no matter the offence, a person should be treated first as a human being and be accorded respect. The society seeks justice in this case, with the identity of the officer sourced and appropriate disciplinary measures meted out, particularly to serve as a deterrent to others. This will definitely manifest changes as an unfolding culture in Nigeria. <laughs>